I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today we're going to talk all about the 2018 Winnebago Mini 2401 RG. It's a great couples coach, pretty unique floor plan. Let's go ahead and start off right on the back here. This is a rear kitchen model. So right here, right as soon as you walk in, you have fridge freezer set up, Dometic fridge freezer unit. Uh, you do have a cutout here for some of the taller items, a couple of drawers on the bottom there, nice big freezer up top. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. But I personally do like this location because for me, I tend to have a couple beers when I camp. It's nice and easy to walk in, open up the fridge, grab what I need and head right back out. Control panel is very easy to access too, and it's tucked away, so it is nice and decorative. You can see your slide control there, awning controls, couple lights, and then your tank monitoring panel is there as well. The other thing I like about this, right underneath here, take a look at that storage compartment. Nice and big, so you walk in, kick your shoes off, your flip-flops, toss them right in there. Now you're not cluttering up this whole space. Moving further into the kitchen, we get into the countertop itself. You'll see you do have pretty good prep space throughout here, but they have given you even more by giving you both the cooktop cover and dual sink top covers here. So this whole thing is usable space. The cover, this guy just folds right up and back here like so. Now you do have this nice backsplash here, but this kind of doubles the backsplash too, plus it's a little bit easier to clean. Uh, right there you have your three burner cooktop, front one is high output and then an oven underneath in case you want to do some baking. If we take a look at the storage underneath here, look at that. Nice bank of four full extension ball bearing drawers. You can see how big those are, so you have plenty of room, not just for your silverware, but everything else you want to put in here, whether it's you know some of your serving utensils, large knives, hot pads, whatever else you need to toss in there, you certainly have the drawer space to do it. Then underneath the sink right here, you have some additional space. That way you have place uh, for your uh, cleaning supplies and things of that nature. Right up above that's your double bowl sink here. As I said, you have the two sink top covers. Both of these are cutting board quality. So feel free to turn them over. Use the bottom here as a cutting board. That way when you put them back, the nice side still stays up. Uh, you can see the double bowl stainless steel sink there with the high rise faucet. You have the window right above that for natural light and then up top here whoops then up top we have two led lights that way during nighttime you have a lot of light there as well uh, as far as plugging things in you know whether it's a coffee maker toaster blender you're gonna want to plug some stuff in in your kitchen you have one electrical outlet right here and again plenty of space or you can set something over here put, put your uh, cord right here behind your sink and plug it in right over here so a couple different options of where you want to plug things in you also have a dual usb port there so if you need to charge some cell phones or something you have a place to do that hood right up top with a light and fan microwave up above that there's the weight of the unit 5120 pounds Storage all across the top here as well. You can see that right there. And then more storage here above the sink. Moving further into the floor plan here, we'll move over to the slide out. So the slide out uh, kind of has two pieces in here. It has this nice jackknife sofa and this huge wardrobe we'll get to in just a moment. Uh, but the jackknife sofa is great. You know, it, it, you actually have a really good viewing angle in this floor plan to the TV, which is uh, really cool right from here. You can see that. Again, as I said, it's kind of a unique floor plan. Uh, quite comfortable, and this does drop down into a bed as well. So if you need additional sleeping space, just like most jackknife sofas, you lift it up, then this whole thing drops down into the bed there. What you will notice though is the storage you get underneath. You know, most manufacturers don't do this. They just put a piece of wood all the way across and they don't give you any storage. I like the fact they at least gave you something in here even though it's still in a slide. Uh, that way you have a, a spot in which you can put your, um, you know, your extra pillows, blankets, sheets, things like that. Stuff them right in there so you need them. You just pull them out and grab them. And you also have some additional storage behind the couch there as well. Couple windows for some natural light, LED here, and then storage across the top. Moving across the way, right over here is the dinette. You want to talk about having great conversations? You have people in the dinette, you have people in the couch here, makes for great entertainment value. Uh, the couch or the dinette itself does drop down into a bed as well. The table here drops down, sits on these rails. You can see they built in. Then you can take the two back cushions, put them on top, and that is your sleeping surface. 
But, you know, this, of course, is a place to play games, eat, everything else, especially if it's just going to be the two of you. And the other thing I like is they managed to put it on the camp side. You see you have a nice big window right there. This one not only gives you that natural light, but this is the view you want. You're looking out to your campsite instead of out at your neighbor's. Right up above that, as I mentioned, boom, there it is. Big TV straight across from the couch. You're able to see it perfectly. Multimedia center right next to that. That unit uh, controls the speakers both inside and outside. It is Bluetooth capable, uh, and it's a DVD player. It's already hooked up to your TV. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. And over to this side here, you have a perfect spot to put some of those movies or whatever else you want to stuff in there. If you look directly above me, you will see this unit does have ducted AC here. That is ducted throughout. The thermostat is right here on the wall. This controls both your AC and your furnace. Let's talk about the rest of this slide though, and that's this guy right here. You ready for this? Look at that storage. It is absolutely massive. Then up top, they give you a hanging rod there. So uh, this is kind of cool, you know, because you can hang your clothes here. The bathroom is right across the way, uh, right across the way. The bedroom is here. So, you know, makes it nice and easy to grab clothes, go into one of the rooms, change, do what you need to do. And you have enough room down in the bottom here if you want to put, uh, you know, a dirty clothes basket, something like that, you can do that. Or whatever else you want to store in here. I mean, it's huge. You know, it's, uh, the possibilities are almost limitless as far as what you can store in there. So we're going to go into the bathroom here first, then we'll check out the bedroom. But before we do, one of the things I want to talk about quickly are the doors here uh, on the inside of the Winnebago. And I talk about this in all my Winnebago towable videos, or at least I try to. The reason is these are some of the best interior doors you will find in an RV, period. Uh, the reason is, look at this, they actually frame them out in wood. Most manufacturers use plastic, right? And it just doesn't work very well. They're generally not square. That is not the case here with the Winnebago. It opens and it shuts. Look, there's almost no slop there. It's just like you have in a house. It's residential. It's just the way it should be. And it's like that on all the doors. This one is the exact same way. It's not going to pop open on you. You know, it actually shuts when it's supposed to. And I know it seems silly, but I'm telling you, when you're out there shopping, compare the doors and you'll see exactly what I mean. There are two entrances and exits in the bathroom of the 2401. The one into the main living area, the other one here into the master bedroom. Right in between the two, you have your foot flush lever toilet. Nice porcelain bowl on there as well, so it's easier to clean. Directly above, you have your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. And then right over here, you can take a look at the vanity. You'll see the nice stainless steel bowl in here, some additional storage there underneath, electrical outlet for anything you need to plug in, Mirrored medicine cabinet up top with both storage behind that and some storage off to the side. Right here is a Neo Angle shower. As you can see, it's a pretty good size shower. You know, I'm not a small guy, I'm about six foot, you know, around 200 pounds, and I have plenty of room to be able to move around and shower quite comfortably. The other thing I like are the shower doors themselves. As you will notice, the doors are in a roller track. So that way, when you're done showering and you open it up, all the shower goes down the doors and into the shower pan rather than all over your floor. Directly behind me here, whoop, over to this side, is the hand wand, and again, makes it nice and easy to wash off. You can grab that and do what you need to do. And directly above me is a skylight. Now, as I said, I'm six foot. I can still stand underneath the uh, ceiling here, but if you're a taller person, the skylight does give you that additional headroom and also lets in a lot of natural light during the day. Then right over to the side here, take a look at this. You have this beautiful linen closet, plenty of room here for towels and everything else you need to store. A little bit of additional there on the bottom. And then you have a robe hook here on the door itself. In the bedroom here, you'll see the walk around queen bed, nice and easy to make it up. And you also have storage here underneath. Notice how nice and high this bed comes up, so it is quite easy to access the storage. Now there's your uh, propane tank cover over to the side of your propane tanks. That is how the manufacturer ships it as we just got this unit in. But again, point I want to make, very simple to access that storage. Nice struts on here as well. Over to the one side there, you see the wardrobe, some good hanging storage right there. So not only do you have that monster wardrobe uh, out in the hall, but you have the little side one there too. On this side, you get a nice nightstand as well as a uh, large drawer here for anything you want to stuff in there. And you also have dual USB port as well as a standard plug-in. So if you want to charge your cell phones at night or if you have to sleep with a CPAP machine, you have a place in which you can put that. A couple LED lights in here make it nice and bright. Also great for reading. And then storage all the way across the top. 
You will also see right up top here you have a vent so you can get uh, some good cross ventilation. TV hookups here as well as your King Jack TV antenna. It's a low profile antenna, makes it nice and easy. You just have to turn it to find the signal rather than raising it up and having to worry about bringing it back down while you're breaking down camp. You also see windows on both sides, again, to help with cross ventilation. The far side is an emergency exit. And this is a secondary door here. Uh, I actually do like this. You know, it does take up a little bit of wall space, but if you have guests that are staying the night, because you do have a couple places they can stay, this lets you kind of sneak out, you know, early in the morning, or maybe if you come in later at night, you can come in, uh, you know, while they're sleeping, whatever the situation may be. But I do like having the secondary entrance there. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2401 RG. Starting right up front, power tongue jack here. This makes it nice and simple to uh, connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. All you have to do is touch the button here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see you have a light right up front, so if you want a little extra light, if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, you can turn that guy on. Right behind that, this is where your two 20 pound propane tanks will go after we install them right here. And as you saw, it does come with the cover. And then right behind that, our rails for your battery there. Coming up the front, black diamond plating. This helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. If you come around to the side, you can take a look at the pass through here. Nice magnetic latch on there, so just set it and forget it. You don't have to plastic clip or anything that's gonna break off. And if you look inside there, you'll see how nice and open that is. The other thing you will see is on the far side over there, you can see that battery disconnect. They generally put that on higher end RVs. Uh, the nice thing about the disconnect is rather than having to get into the battery box, you know, undoing the strap and then undoing the battery, all I have to do is flip a switch, kills all power to it. That way you're not having that constant power drain. Because even if you turn everything off inside, there's still going to be a drain on the battery unless you disconnect it or hit the disconnect switch. Right underneath here, a couple things I want to point out. Uh, one, propane quick connect. If you're someone that likes to grill, you want to, you know, do some grilling while you're camping, instead of getting the little green bottles, just plug it into that guy right there. It'll feed off your 220s instead. Also, this has a huck bolt frame. You can see some of the huck bolts right up here there. Uh, a couple advantages to the huck bolt. One, Generally when your frame rusts out, the first place it starts to rust is right on those welded seams. So by not having those welded seams, you uh, really reduce the chance for it to rust there. Also if you ever do get in any kind of accident, a huck bolt frame is a lot easier to replace, therefore making it less uh, expensive on you. The stabilizer jacks on there are BAL stabilizer jacks. They're upgraded jacks, they take a fraction of the turns of your standard ones. The reason that's important. When you go camping, you have enough things to worry about when it comes to set up and tear down. Anything that can help me set up and tear down quicker is a huge bonus in my book, and this is no exception. Uh, you know, it's a, again, probably a third to a quarter of the turns to raise and lower that. You will certainly appreciate those. As we saw inside, two entrances and exits. This one right here is directly into the bedroom. The back one is the main entrance. We'll get to that one in just a moment. Right up top here, large power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. Uh, it does have an LED light strip underneath to light up your campsite at night. And then you also have uh, two outside speakers there in case you wanna play some music. And as I mentioned, those are connected to that multimedia center inside and the unit is Bluetooth capable. So you can sit out here at your campsite and still be able to control those speakers. If you'd like to watch TV, they did put a uh, backer right in here so you know exactly where to install that TV mount. Of course, that is directly underneath the awning. And you have hookups right here, electric as well as cable outlet. Even if you don't use TV, remember, you can always use this electrical outlet for anything you want. So if you want to set up a table with a crock pot, you can plug it in right there. Let's take a quick uh, uh, talk real quickly, rather, about the sidewalls here. Um, this is one of my favorite parts about Winn Winnebago Tobel products altogether. I love their sidewall construction. Uh, what you will see is you can actually see the shine and luster in the sidewall here. And the reason for that, they utilize a T60 fiberglass, which is a solid sheet rather than a fiberglass that is rolled. So it's a lot thicker. That's what your big high end, you know, 70, 80, $90,000 fifth wheels are using. It's what a lot of your diesel motorhomes use. It's just a quality fiberglass they put on there. Then on top of that is a true poor gel coat exterior. So that's what gives it that shine and luster. You won't see the fibers in there. I'm telling you, you can see the reflection in here. You go to a lot of the other travel trailers, especially in this class, and you probably won't be able to do that. 
It's a very similar process to how they make a bolt hull. And if you're familiar with boats, you know you can shine that, you can buff it, and it will stay that way for the life of the coach. If you take a look right underneath here uh, at the wheels themselves, the <laughs> The wheels are aluminum alloy, uh, so that way they're not going to rust on you. Plus, they look great, less chance for any kind of corrosion. They also have nitrogen-filled tires there, too, so that way you'll hold those tire pressures longer. Main entrance is right back here. Three steps to get on up there. First one's nice and low. Foldable, easy grab handle as well. That way you have good control while entering or exiting the coach. Then we come around to the back side. Right back here is your spare tire with a cover. Hopefully you never have to use the spare tire. Hopefully you don't have a blowout. Make sure you always monitor your tire pressures. Uh, but in the event that a tire does blow out, right back here is your spare. And again, because it's covered, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be in good shape when you go to use it. And the fact you don't have to crawl underneath to get it is pretty nice in my book. Uh, right here is your rear mounted ladder. This saves you from having to bring a ladder with you. Fully walkable roof on this RV, so you can get up there, walk around, you know, have a party, do what you want to do. I recommend uh, on this RV, just like I do on every RV, to at least examine your roof once or twice a year. You just want to get up there and take a look, make sure everything's still looking good, all your seals are the way they should be. If you don't want to get up there, you can always bring your RV by American RV. We'll get up there for free, take a look at it for you, just to make sure everything is on the up and up. Uh, also right here, 30 amp detachable power cord right in the back there for you. The rest of your hookups, however, will be right over here on the side. You'll see both your water inlets here, black tank flush as well. So that way, uh, rather than dragging a hose through the RV and stick it in the toilet, just hook it up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in. It washes it out for you. Outside shower here with a hand wand, both hot and cold water access, cable and satellite inlets, and then your six gallon water heater right over here to the side. Also up front by the nose, you do have solar prep. It's the ZAMP system. So if you want solar on this coach, just buy the portable ZAMP panels, plug them in, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Mini 2401RG. This one has the stone interior with the platinum exterior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.